Good day, good love, and good light, illuminators and guardians of Gaia. Hello and thank you for joining me, Wendy, as we explore, share, and experience the timeless and infinite languages of lights. So I thought I'd take a few minutes today to get out of the house. Uh, having a little cabin fever lately. It's been cold even here in Tennessee. Um, much warmer than up in Chicago where I used to be. But I uh, had to break out all brown down. Um, so for any of you who have been watching me for a little while, you know that brown down and I have been through a lot together. Um, and it was kind of funny as synchronicity would have it. It's been packed for a while and um, it got cold enough here. Uh, it was about, you know, I woke up this week, it was about 14 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like, uh, I think minus 10 Celsius. So it's been pretty chilly. So I really wanted to get outside and get some sunshine, though we do walk every day, no, rain or shine, um, pretty much. Uh, we do take a walk every day, but this is the first time I've had to really come out and do a little meditating. So. Got some om and meditations going on. And just to remind everybody to get out there and play and get out in nature, um, your natural state of being. And I had to laugh as this, my, my beautiful brown down has been through so many journeys with me <laughs> over the last few years. And there's little, there's snags and holes and, and the feathers are, <laughs> the feathers fall out. Um, from just sticker bushes and sitting in the ground and walking around with my buddy. <laughs> Perfect timing. Hi, Ranger. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> so we, we just got back from our walk a little while ago, and I just wanted to enjoy the stillness of, the, of this afternoon. Um, it was exactly like 3 o'clock on the dot when I sat down to start the video. So loving that body, mind, and spirit synchronicity. Om 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 When you can feel a tickle, you know you're right on the money. Nyawu <laughs> kosata Thank you all for joining me as we journey once again through our connections with our galactic families, our cosmic selves, our multidimensional selves, as we sing and chant and tone and speak these languages, whether you speak them or just listen. Allow them to speak to your soul, your heart. They are the harmony of the natural vibration that you are. They speak of the elements and the elementals and the beginnings of time and timelessness of the earth. Um, long, many, many billions and trillions, trillions of years um, before Earth, when we came together to create this magnificent space and, and place to explore limitation, to discover once again, through meditation, our limitlessness and our timelessness, our infiniteness, um, and, and I'm laughing because as the feathers fall, um, I found that find them every now and then, as synchronicity would have it at home, um, you know, as they float around every now and then. And, and I always seem to find them at just the right moment when I need that reminder of that connection. Um, when I've even forgotten that 
even for a brief moment that I've forgotten when I'm connected to you and us and that we are connected to all things and all that is and that when we when we feel separated from ourselves and our higher selves and our highest guidance um, these these senses these light codes that we receive through the languages through through our Sun and our moonlight um, our sky our waters our trees our trees and our plants we sing we hear the songs of the plants with our hearts and we know now we know now we can hear them with electronic our equipment now we can hear our, our plants singing to us we are being invited to become more conscious spirits more conscious of our multi-dimensionality and our own creation here and finding this gratitude for Gaia in this in this beautiful creation that we've um, come to be together to share this this great journey of um, illusion of separate of separateness. Mianua tiki lando de samiawa kalonta shanamaru kwe abare se niamani o kuri ando risimi kia don kui shana urakota de kia lusota se. So does the Miano Kuya Shapurian, does the Nopora Kadiasa. So, no matter what part of your journey excites you, whether it's light languages, channeling, is it, is it light codes, is it poetry, is it writing, is it singing, is it dancing, is it oracle cards, what messages are you receiving? Source information through whatever excites you is how you're receiving that information and in meditation it allows us to quiet the illusionary mind and allow us to hear messages from our true mind our actual um, highest dimensional selves our um, our truest uh, rainbows of colors. Siano Koriasha Niki I Niki Salonda Sanatala Shara Sono To Koyana I La Ki Sasha Leno Kondosho Numbira Leahana Kalako Soro Son Mora Shokumpa So here I have our cup of inspiration. I have beautiful dandelion root tea here and some water. Nya Wora Shanokoria as we say cheers to Gaia and thank you. Mi adore asanake. Lead us anida wahano kolakashnote. And thank you to you, the guardians of Gaia, for creating this sacred space and these these special places where we can come to feel our wholeness and, and meditate and connect with the earth, the air, the fire and the water. I'm gonna put you try to put you down here <laughs> gently. <laughs> Uh, si ano si Valianta alunko sa poshdora se Lianta sono kiana sa toko nanti ala koto sa takiala ke and synchronicity. <clears throat> I was just reminded as I was having my tea about the synchronicity that when we become conscious, intentional meditators, when we intentionally set out an idea in our meditation, regardless of what it is, we're telling the universe what we want. Even if we don't know what we want, asking to, to bring to us and make us consciously aware of what it is that we want based upon the synchronicities, the intuitions, the messages that you receive, the signs we see, the numbers we see, the symbols we see, the the license plates, the all of it is messages from source to you. Everything is speaking a language of light. And music, I had to laugh at my, I forgot I had worn this shirt today. This music, music to me has been an integral part of, of my entire life and my awareness and my awakening process. And I've had a, an emotional connection to music. Um, actually, my son is a musician. He <laughs> gave me the shirt. Um, <clears throat> and a drummer, no less. <laughs> um, there's, they just said that there's, there's a shaman in all of us. The ability to um, 
when you become aware of the synchronicities in your life, you realize that that is the, the, the rule and not the exception, and that you become in the flow of all information. And that is the shamanic way, is to speak to the, to the greater... Uh, the greater spirits, the, the higher uh, realms, receive the information, bring it down to the community for the best of the whole. To receive the information and energy and spiritual support that we need by way of gratitude and, intu and intuition and telepathy and intentional meditation that we connect with all of these things. Niapodesapaliantokora. And when we are, uh, when the more time we spend in meditation, um, when we when we walk out of that vibration, we are literally carrying a piece of that vibration with us always in everything we do. It allows us to move through life um, more aware softer, more empath empathetic, uh, more telepath telepathic, more intuitive. Everything you see in your creation is a mirror of your previous vibration. See. So I wanted to laugh. I, I got, I'm so excited. I, I got uh, several more Oracle decks. And one of the things that I love receiving information from source and, and also delivering <laughs> uh, information from source to all of you is by way of the Oracle. And I've even had dreams many, many years ago. Um, I woke up being told I was an Oracle. So I had to laugh at the synchronicity. I, I recently received this conscious spirit deck and I've been communing, <clears throat> excuse me, and connecting with it and meditating with it. I've done uh, uh, readings uh, for myself with this and some of the other decks that I've received. And this is the conscious spirit oracle deck uh, written and illustrated by Kim Dreyer. And I've really been enjoying um, the energies behind this. I absolutely love the uh, the sacred circuitry and the sacred geometry artwork. Um, my apologies, upside down. <laughs> um, so I'm absolutely loving the the energy on this card. I love the colors. I love the chakra, it, the invitation to the chakras, and the idea of the the connection to, of all things of the earth, the sky, the elements. Um, the I see. I'm seeing the roots in here. We've got all the chakra colors. We've got the sacred geometry. We've got the spirit world. We've got the the. Uh, we've got angel wings. Um, there's planets. There's so everything I believe is is I love how everything is represented in this deck I again um, Inviting us to become conscious spirits here and um, And me being more of a conscious channeler. I feel that 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 uh, idea for all of us um, that you know, we all our conscious channelers we're channeling our higher self all the, our higher self all the time as we move through these beings we're light bodies moving through a, a, a car you know um, and so I, I when I was reminded about synchronicity and the fe and the feathers that fly, that fly out of my coat um, I uh, grabbed I grabbed this deck they said before I walked outside they said oh wait grab the deck um, I, okay and so I was reminded and I left this card on top flipped over to remind myself to share with all of you that I shuffled these cards, I meditated, I cleansed them, I cleared them, I light languaged them, I did my Palo Santo, um, they were with my crystals, I mean you name it. We had a beautiful uh, engagement together and I shuffled and shuffled and you just can't make this stuff up. What card do I turn over? But for me, because the question was, you know, what message do you have for me today? And there we have it, the healer. And so I absolutely adored <laughs> this picture and her, and she's holding the crystal and <clears throat> she's got that what appears to be a bear um, and she's wearing her feathers and her her amulet and the power that's coming from her Lemurian that would and I said Lemurian crystal because I've been holding my Lemurian crystal. I am loving and compassionate and able to bring healing to others. And this is to all of you. 
if you're here in this frequency, you're here, you're a healer, you're in the family of teachers. Your vibe attracts your tribe and we're here together. And the number on this is infinite, eight, you know, the number of infinity. So, you know, meditation, intentional meditation brings you into that stream of infinity, that infinite stream of higher consciousness. You're all capable of it and we're here to activate each other. So I wanted to share that gorgeous card with you once again. <laughs> I just absolutely love it. And I'm even, I'll put it, now I'm going to put it back into the deck. So what messages today do our dear spirits and guides, angels, um, have for all of us? Us, we guardians of Gaia, you, Yaroko Shinari Sadeki, Lissanania Satosho Piliana Kalakua, Sonomale Satoshi, Angel Feathers. This, uh, how can we become better conscious spirits? What message do we need to hear today? What do you need to hear today? Um, in this idea of infinite stream of consciousness, of, of, of all of us being conscious channelers every moment of every day that we have this innate ability, innate ability to connect to all things, any, anything we want to draw into us, any power, any, and, uh, any, um, any master of anything, no matter what it trade, no matter what excites you, no matter what you do in your life, no matter what it is that brings you the highest excitement, you are able to draw in the masters of them at any given moment and that you have access to their knowledge you have access to their their research their power their energy you can bring it in to you anytime you choose by intentional meditation and and that's even just a moment to say I'm off to this meeting whoever also has this highest excitement about this kind of stuff I invite you in to help me be the best the best this thing I can be and draw this information and this energy from source energy from all that is because you're connected to all of that so we have that ability every moment to bring that into into our awareness <laughs> okay well um, <laughs> this flipped over and I'm going to go ahead and leave it because it's so so perfect for today here we are in nature. Nature reminds us to embrace every cycle of nature, winter, spring, summer, fall. So to all of you who are just experiencing the winter solstice and all of you that are experiencing the summer solstice and to all everything in between, we get number 42, the wheel of life. I am guided by the cycles of life and live in complete harmony with them. And look at that absolutely amazing picture of divine balance, of the, 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 the feminine divine energy, the masculine energy, the perfect balance, the, the seasons. We have, we have the, the fall, the spring, the winter, um, the summer. I, the, we've got this, the, um, I'm seeing the planetary movements. We've got the moon, the stars, the sun. Here we are guided once again to embrace the cycles of life, to embrace this tree, this wheel of life that we're all on, <laughs> that we're all on together. I just puffed up a, <laughs> a bunch of feathers. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> And I feel that right now, here I am, as I have experienced in this coat, every, every single, um, and in this space, and in the place where I was before, I experienced every cycle and, uh, of, of, of Gaia. And I was asked that first day, in the dead of winter, <laughs> as I approach my own three, is it three years now? <laughs> three-year anniversary of of this light language and the emissaries of the light collective the day they came to me 
and said, bring these light codes and these light languages to the world to help you all connect, activate, illuminate your highest selves, connect to all the aspects that you are, to see yourselves as the rays of sun that sources the one center, that the one center of all things, that you are that array of that one sun, that we are all connected, that absolutely everything is connected. This is something that I have innately known since I was a child, that everything is connected and that what we do and what we think affects absolutely everything. And that by being, in, by being, by becoming all that we are here to become, we become in that perfect balance, that perfect place of harmony of who we are. And that's the name I started out with <laughs> um, in my journey was harmony. They They told me that this is what we, I, have come to bring, and we have come to bring, is perfect balance and harmony. And this, and bringing back this power of the divine feminine to bring the perfect balance back to earth. And to raise our own conscious spirit. To become the, the most, the, the highest version of ourselves, to become the highest, um, to see ourselves as the most valuable, as an equal and valuable part of the whole wheel of life. That nothing is greater, nothing is lesser, that you are perfect, you are one, you are important, you are magnificent. We are here because we exist, because we need to exist, because Source, the Sun, needs that piece of light that you are to exist. You were not born by accident. You were here to create this perfect harmonic balance. Harmony, synchronicity. <laughs> we are all speaking a language of light every moment we breathe. Every moment you look into another's eyes, every time you smile, the simplicity of a smile can take your breath away. It can make you fall in love with life, with yourself. Because remember, every time you smile and someone smiles back, you're seeing your own reflection. Sobody is no kuambash no oroko sate, lising kiasato somayamo satashe. So Sing your song, play your music, whatever that is, whatever that means to you. Whatever you're creating, building, thinking, doing, seeing, envisioning, that is your song. That's your perfect state of harmony. And when you become your true vibration <clears throat> and you vibrate at your perfect vibration, the tuning fork. You send out the tuning fork of vibrations to all of the cosmos that you're ready to meet. Your perfect match. So as we move into this energy of the 2018, this 11 energy, this year of 11, we remind ourselves, this is my favorite number, my master number, my, my birth path number of 11. We remind ourselves in this 2018 year that we are we're, we're invited to become this conscious spirit and look at our, reflect, our own reflections to see our true spirit, our true twin flame, ourself. Mina hila ni so sono haki tu e sunahi Siato shuria i kia sata si il Siato shimi kia ta ilan kia sato shono unko sata si ilan ki sato somalianka no more senyano unko apalianto sopa alo sato shami ilako Shabakiando Sotoko Ergo Shapi Inki Sotase Simbia Sonode Belasharoko and Bala Sotaki Unko Sapalashoka Sero Somayawa Iwa Iluko. You are always sending and receiving information from Source. You're sending and receiving your orders. Yapurasama Ikiya Sotoshame Awa. Your wishes. 
your desires, miarosa, miawa, ukuya, and by synchronicity, you are always receiving the answers to that vibration. Miarosa, miato, ukuya, parosto, orum, payaoke. Be intentional in your meditations. Become these conscious spiritual beings that you already know yourselves to be. Miarosa, miarosa, maalu, kwamana. This idea of 11 is about conscious creation. To finally let go of the beliefs that your life and your creation happens to you and not by you, for you. For your highest experience, your highest learning. You are all teachers and you are all students. We, all the cosmos, every single creature is a teacher and a student simultaneously. This is the vibration of the 11, of perfect balance and harmony, and of remembering that you are always in tune with the cycles. The cycles. I am guided by the cycles of life and live in complete harmony with them. And even as I drink my tea, I reminded the honey, the local honey, that I am in perfect harmony, in perfect balance. I have no allergies to anything, nothing. I am in perfect harmony and balance. Yes, I'll push another key. Lo semiano kwa para sata iwa, lo somia kwa For that is my desire. That is my intention. And yes, I veer off. <laughs> Yes, oh man, but I'm reminded that I'm supported, that you are supported. Be reminded that you're supported, <clears throat> that that's why they're guiding us. Thank you, dear guides. Thank you. As you help us, these guardians of Gaia, these teachers and students of the Akash, we thank you for your love and support. And we thank you, Gaia. We thank you. We thank you for every version of you. I love you. Sinikiniaro <laughs> Each of you have your very special language with me. Each of you speaks to me in your own special way. In every timeline, we are one. We are made of the same. Elements of sorts. I love you, I love you. I am in gratitude for your gratitude. I am in gratitude for your intentional healing of these lands, these waters, the vapors of life, the sands and the soils and the snowflakes and the ice crystals, they all thank you. All that lives and breathes beneath and above and below, all are a part of me and a part of you. Thank you, I love you. I love you.
Thank you for joining me today as we share in the bliss and love in the languages of lights. I love you. Mahalo. Namaste.